sports gamer. One of the most difficult things to do in Major League Baseball, besides hitting a fastball, is placing a pitch in the perfect spot consistently. If you're struggling to take your pitching effectiveness to the next level in MLB The Show, here are a few tips and strategies to bring your mound game to the next level. Now, before we get into any tips or strategies, it must be stated that the user interface you choose will heavily dictate the outcome of your pitching. Out of the four interfaces that can be selected, Meter and analog are the only two interfaces you should consider using. Analog will provide you the most user control out of all four interfaces. If you have been using another interface for some time or you are new to the show, it will only take a small learning curve to get used to its feel. But once you have it mastered, it will be your top choice when it comes to pitching. Pitchers will universally tell you that the hardest thing in pitching is being able to hit your spot consistently. Finding pitchers with good control in MLB The Show is vital to your success. It goes without saying that elite pitchers have a decent repertoire of pitches at their disposal. Pitchers that have the sinker as their main pitch are invaluable due to the fact that sinkers induce ground balls. Raleigh Fingers notably quoted that, pitchers that induce ground balls very rarely ever give up home runs. The four seam fastball is another pitch that should be number one or two on the list of pitches your player has. There's a reason why hitting the fastball is one of the hardest things to do in sports. Also, you need a pitcher who has a slow changeup. If you can keep your opponent off balance with a good forcing fastball and changeup combination, you will have success early. You should have at least one pitcher in your starting rotation who can effectively tunnel pitches. Pitch tunneling is the ability of a pitcher to consecutively throw pitches that look identical from their release point and travel identically through the batter's swing decision making point but end up crossing the plane of home plate in two different spots. Every batter has a swing decision point that determines when and if he will swing or not swing at a pitch. Only elite hitters are able to make that millisecond adjustment needed to make successful contact. Your goal is to deny the batter as much information on the speed and type of ball being thrown until it is almost too late for them to deviate from their decision. This is how you keep your opponent off balance. The most common in-band pitches to throw are the forcing fastball followed by a slider or changeup. Another combination is the sinker followed by the slider and vice versa. The most important factor is fatigue. If you leave a pitcher in for too long, they will begin to lose control, which will lead to your pitcher missing their spot and hanging it over the plate, no matter how well you have lined up your meter or positioned your analog marker. Confidence also plays a factor as well. Understanding the importance of mound visits when your pitcher gives up consecutive hits and runs. Mound visits can help with regaining energy and regaining your pitcher's poise in critical situations. With the three batter minimum rule in this year, it is vitally important to factor in who is in your bullpen and their strengths and weaknesses. No longer can you gamble by bringing in a reliever who is only good for one or two batters. Understanding your pitcher's fatigue rating as well as confidence is crucial to your success. The key to becoming a successful pitcher in MLB The Show is learning how not to be predictable. Learn how to use combinations of pitches that keep your opponent guessing. Even if you have a pitch that is working effectively, do not spam the same location or pitch. Your opponent will eventually catch on to your strategy. Never throw pitches in the heart of the zone. The only time a pitch should be placed in the strike zone is if you are confident you can catch your opponent off guard with a fastball high or up and in on the hands. Pitches in the strike zone should only be used in the event you do not want to walk your batter as a result of being in a batter's count. Your camera angle also plays a very important role in how you perceive the pitches you are throwing in addition to giving you data on what your opponent sees at the plate.
Strike Zone, Strike Zone 2, and Strike Zone 3 provide the best angles for learning how to pitch and hit your spots effectively. For more on MLB The Show 20 and Sports Gaming Daily, make sure to subscribe to Sports Gamers Online and turn on your notifications so you never miss the latest videos.